Don't look up. Several asteroids are heading towards our Earth. Here's how we deal with threats in real life. This is by The Conversation. Not Monica Grady, Professor of Planetary Space Sciences, The Open University. Don't Look Up is the title of a Netflix uh, movie concerning asteroid impacts and uh, with Leonardo DiCaprio. Now, don't look now, but we are currently experiencing a rash of stories about a forthcoming global catastrophe, but in change from reports of pandemics and climate change, this global catastrophe is produced by the impact of a giant asteroid or comet or both. This may feel extra ominous given the events in the recent Netflix film Don't Look Up, in which the Earth is threatened by a planet killer asteroid. But how worried should we really be? And what would happen if such a body actually hit us? Well, it depends on its size, of course, and if it's close to us or impacting us. It has been my experience that killer asteroids, she says, tend to strike in the summer months when news is thin on the ground. Maybe we're so tired of grim news about the spread of uh, various pandemics that associated problems with that a killer asteroid or comet makes a refreshing change. Some UK newspapers have turned on to Nostradamus, the 16th century astrologer. A couple ran stories at the end of 2021 about 2022 being the year in which Nostradamus predicted that the world would end with a giant impact with a body from space. This is basically what happens every January with Nostradamus predictions from what I gather. Going back to this, this hook has resulted in tabulations of objects that may or more likely will not come close to Earth in 2022. My favorite list was published by the Sun newspaper, which describes five asteroids heading towards the Earth in January alone. The scary headline and its accompanying image of an Earth in apparent danger is somewhat undermined by the, se the sentences following the image in which the newspaper states that, quote, all of the forecasted asteroids this year will pass by Earth by a significant distance and is very unlikely they will hit our planet, end quote. We have already missed or been missed by the first two asteroids in the list, that's 2021 YQ and 2021 YX, which hurtled by Earth on January 5th at a distance of 1.3 and 2.4 million miles, respectively. No, I didn't notice them either, and I study asteroids. There are further three asteroids predicted to pass between 1 and 5 million miles from our Earth in the next few days, ranging in size from that of a car to that of the Statue of Liberty. The one that will get the closest will still be four times as far away as our moon, so it's not exactly close calls. Yes, uh, is Don't Look Up realistic? Don't Look Up is an allegory using the glo globally catastrophic impact of a planet killer for the globally catastrophic impact of climate change. It is a tale of corruption, venality, and political and corporate self-interest placed ahead of the health and welfare of humanity. It is also very funny. Without giving away too many spoilers, the plot focuses around two astronomers, a graduate student and her professor, who discover a comet that will collide with Earth in six months' time. They try to tell the President of the United States, played by gloriously Meryl Streep, and she is more concerned with the midterm elections. Now, the film pokes fun at right-wing U.S. politics, the influence of donations to political parties on policy and politicians, the increasing capacity for modern technology to collect information about health, habits, and lifestyle, and the use of that information by technology giants. It does not poke fun at the science, though. The discovery of the comet is sort of realistic, which is as it should be, since Amy Mazur, principal investigator of NASA's NEOWISE asteroid tracking program, was scientific advisor to this production. In the film, the astronomers report their findings to the Planetary Defense Coordination Office, which, as the movie shows, is a real organization operated by NASA. So, is the film realistic? The Earth has been hit by large asteroids in the past, which is why there are no enormous dinosaurs roaming the planet today, and it's bombarded every day by tons of dust and meteorites. It's certain that a planet-killer asteroid, comet, quote-unquote, is written in the future, 
though occurring at most uh, since uh, once in every 50 million years. And this is taken much more seriously by international governments than is shown in this film. There's a well-tested protocol for reporting new asteroids and comets, which is how we know about the ones passing close or closish to our Earth this month. There are also plans to mitigate the potential consequences from an asteroid on collision course with the Earth, and these typically rely on deflecting the asteroid's course as trying to shoot it down last minute is not feasible, it would take too much energy. The launch in November of NASA's DART mission, the technology testing mission, will further help shed light on how to best deflect asteroids threatening our Earth. It's for the protection of our planet, of course. But where Don't Look Up touches a nerve is the lack of preparedness for the emergency if, when, it finally happens and the mitigation plans have failed. And here I come back to the allegory for climate change. There is no plan B. In the film, the slogan Don't Look Up is a denial that an approaching comet will destroy the planet. It's portrayed as fake news. Uh, I thought it was a great film. It's an entertainment, but it's not fake news. We are a global community and we must act together. So this is on the conversation. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. According to Space Weather, the next asteroid coming close to us will be January 9, 4.8 lunar distances, velocity of 6.1 kilometers per second, diameter about 40 feet. After that, we have lunar distance 2.2, February 18, velocity of 10.8 kilometers per second, diameter 25 meters, that's about 60, 70 feet. And the next one after that will be March the 6th, 3.9 lunar distances, going at 4.9 kilometers per second, and that will be about 60 feet in diameter as well. This is according to Space Weather. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon accounts, the daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.